Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to be talking about Affinity, the new versions of Affinity that has been released and by a long shot there is a whole lot of improvement that has been done to this tool. By default Affinity is an amazing amazing set of product and these are being made possible by a company known as Serif. And Affinity actually has three different tools. The first one is a very popular one that a lot of people use, which is known as Affinity Designer. And this is a direct response to Illustrator from Adobe. And by my own usage and what I can say, I think this tool actually outshines Illustrator in a number of ways. Secondly, there is another one known as the Affinity Photo. And this is also a direct response to photo retouchers that make use of Photoshop and you can also do your default painting there. There is a third tool that a lot of people don't get to use but this is known as Affinity Publisher and Affinity Publisher itself is also a direct response to Adobe InDesign. Now the cool thing with Affinity line of products is they are a one-time purchase which simply means that you only get a perpetual license once you make a purchase from the, for these apps and other things that comes up with this is from time to time you get certain percentage off whenever you're making purchases like right now there is a 20 percent off but today we're going to be talking about the features that has been shipped up with these two products so affinity 1.7 what are the features first things first they are now gpu accelerated which simply means that if you're making use of a mac there is a tendency that you would be able to see significant performance whenever you're making use of this tool that for windows they said it's coming soon but it is there and it makes a lot of sense to actually know that this is definitely working and if you're making use of affinity photo there is a claim that it loads twice the speed. I'm actually a huge fan and a huge, a very good user of Affinity Designer. I've used Affinity Designer, I've compared and contrasted before, and I can tell you that Affinity Designer actually knocks off Illustrator by a long shot in a couple of things. Other things that has also come to both apps is the both apps are now pen uh, friendly. So when they actually came out, there is a couple of devices that wasn't support but right now they can now support both pen and also the microsoft surface dial and again they also support hdr monitors and we know that not long ago the guys from krita actually added that support to their own line of work and now this is for the similarities between these two apps i mean when it comes to updates that has been made to them. So let's go in and talk about a couple of things that have made their way to individual apps and how cool are these things. So first things first, we're going to jump over to Affinity Photo. So Affinity Photo had gotten a huge update. In fact, there's a lot of things that have made their way to Affinity Photo that you probably did not see coming. So first of them is that there is a layer studio that has been revamped. So the whole layer studio has been revamped. There is also procedural effects that has been added. So you can now have procedural textures and Veronite textures. So you can have those effects directly there. And also there is now support for 12 bit and 16 bit CMYKT files. There is also a new asset panel that's also available for you to store things that you regularly use. So you can just drag things directly inside there. There's a new sub brushes so that you can combine multiple brushes into one single stroke. And this is a huge time saver. And this is actually one of those things that you really think that would come to Adobe, but you know, for some reason, it just doesn't come to Adobe for, for some reason. So I'm going to put links in the description. So in case you want to check out these things and see a couple of things for yourself, you will be able to see them. Now, the symmetry from them, they say the symmetry, you can now support up to 32. So if you're wondering where this actually works, you can use the both apps on both Windows, uh, Mac OS, and also on your iPad. And the cool thing with the Mac is now you can pair both the iPad and the Mac together, transfer the files that you're working on or transfer a certain window that you're working on from the Mac directly to the iPad and use the Apple Pencil to continue working directly there. And this is going to save you so much time, especially if you like working with a pen and you do not have a tablet at your disposal within the point when you are working. So 
let's move on to affinity designer so affinity designer has also gotten a huge huge update so there's a huge update that has been made to affinity designer so real quick i'm just going to go ahead and share a couple of them arrowheads are number one arrowheads are cool we love them the lasso selection of nodes is also you know is also there there is also a huge update to uh, the transform tool. So there is now a new transform tool and there is a new sculpt mode that has also been added to the pencil. I already mentioned that it supports HDR monitors. So that also exists there. And the pixel persona now supports sub brushes and you know the symmetry thing still happens directly there there is also an unlimited stroke and feels that exist there and so i can tell you for sure that these things are working because i actually have the most updated version of this particular tool here all right so there is a whole lot of things that has come to this particular app and I will do my best to make a video where I'm going to go through this and share with you guys a couple of features that you should actually, you know, keep an eye for. So just in case you want to get into using Affinity or let's say you want to purchase this app, I would like to share a couple of things before you go ahead and purchase them so you know what you're getting yourself. And it's safe to say that within the time I was working with this tool prior to making this video that I found out that there is a huge improvement when it comes to performance. So for the performance, yes, it's so true. And the grid has also had a couple of work and you know the tools the pencil the brushes they also have gotten a whole lot better and these are so true and that makes it so so interesting that if you want to get into this particular tool right now and let's say you want to do things in isometric or let's say you want to do uh, a default ui design that probably or you just want to do a simple design or a simple poster or a simple card or a simple logo or whatever thing that you want to do professionally or simply for your own you know hobby this tool is possibly and definitely for you and yes the unlimited number of strokes is so true so yes you can have unlimited number of strokes and fuse in one particular shape so in a single shape you can have all of those things put together into and if you want to make purchase it goes for 499 which simply means with 50 dollars 50 us dollars you'll be able to make a purchase for both the windows and for the macintosh version you'll be able to have a perpetual license for either the affinity photo or for the affinity designer so the both of them go for fifty dollars and at the same time if you want to make a purchase for the ipad edition you would have to spare about twenty dollars to get this now the cool thing about this purchase is it's a one-time perpetual purchase which makes a lot of sense and this is about it guys and one more thing i have to share with you guys before we leave is presently there is a twenty percent off anything you're purchasing on the affinity store so let's say you want to purchase brushes or you want to purchase some uh things here uh the currency actually says try is Turkish lira so let's say you want to purchase certain things directly from here there's a 20 percent off so you can get those amazing brushes amazing templates amazing stickers and you can use them for your project so i would like you guys to come through check these things out link is going to be in the description so you can find these things for yourself and learn more about these things and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead hit the like button and turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification so you don't miss the next video the next update or maybe when i get to do the review of this particular tool you don't miss it and until i see you guys next time with a tutorial update review free friday tips and tricks things like this peace Time to time